Hey guys, what's up? Signed here, and I'm doing a video on how to build a computer for Rome Total War 2. Um, it's a new game that's coming out. Um, you probably know about it if you're watching this video, but it is going to be a very good game, and it's going to be higher specs than a lot of games out there. Um, they're trying to keep it the same as Shogun 2, so if you run Shogun 2 fun, you might want to just stick with the computer you have, but if not, then you probably want to buy a new one. So I'm going to talk about two ways to buy a new computer. Um, one way is refurbished, which is right here and another way is building a computer um, and I would pr recommend building a computer but you can do refurbished if you're feeling lazy and don't want to bother with the work um, you know they're still pretty decently priced refurbished um, this one is 525 it'll run it um, pretty decently it's 3.3 gigahertz 6 gigabyte of RAM GT640 and the GT640 video card I'll just this is ranked 102 on this list the one that is recommended for Rome Total War 2 is the GeForce GTS 450 which is ranked 88 um, that's recommended by here um, so you know has enough gigabytes is the recommended has a bit lower graphics card but it'll be it'll still run it fine um, so you know if you want to go refurbish this one is decent enough um, I would say on this it'll probably this is what my computer ranked as without it built so I'll tell you about that later but it would probably ranks on the higher end of passing closer to recommended so um, and again you can search around this isn't all there is for refurbished you can search around on newegg.com bestbuy.com amazon.com um, find a refurbished that um, you like pretty much um, they can range in prices range in quality this is a decent one I'll have the link to this particular computer in the comments or in the info below so anyways now on to building a computer I built a computer and it is very nice um, and it cost it did not cost this much because this is buying it all from Newegg I bought it from a combination of Newegg and Amazon because some things are cheaper on Amazon for example Windows 7 was $10 cheaper on Amazon I believe this um, power supply was 20 bucks cheaper or something like that random pieces are cheaper different places so you know, I would recommend Amazon Newegg are very reliable. If you search on TigerDirect.com, they might also have some stuff, but they're usually more expensive there. But anyways, so you can. This isn't a final price right here. This is 770. Um, and also, prices of individual pieces change constantly. So when I paid, bought this, I think I got it for 720. So you know, prices change a lot. So anyways, I'm going to quick go over what I have and then I'll tell you how to make it cheaper and more expensive. So I have the HD 7790 video card, which um, here the 7790 um, ranks, let me see 7790, it ranks number 36 and 88 being the recommended it is far above the recommended. So it's a very nice video card and when I bought it, it is 150 now on here. When I bought it, I got it for 120, but still, it's still a great card for the price cheaper than most in its range um, 500 watt power supply 3.8 um, quad core processor um, 8 gigabyte of RAM and so you can kinda compare that to what the recommended is the recommended is 4 gigabytes of RAM so I have more there I have a much higher video card I have a much higher 2.3 gigahertz is the recommended I have 3.8 so it's definitely above that and it'll run it amazingly um, so that's probably overkill for this game so if you want to not pay so much and get a computer that will run it great still but not cost as much but will still run it better than the refurbished then I would recommend building one um, some ways to quick um, lower the price just so off the top of my head you could get a cheaper um, power supply um, you could try getting from a different brand but I would say stick with Corsair because you want to get something that'll work and Corsair is very well known they'll work like they won't fail um, you could get a 400 watt processor which will lower it probably about twenty dollars total because I got 500 because I plan on overclocking at some point in the future but you could go 400 and not hurt too bad you could probably even go 320 or something and it'll be fine um, you know you don't need that much if you ever plan on overclocking you do need um, lots of extra so I got a 500 um, if you wanna let's see if you want to downgrade you could get a lower video card um, I'll have the link to this site in the description and this just ranks all the video cards so you know you can find something between maybe if you want to get something cheaper you could find something between what I have and the 
recommended, which is this one. So, and I'll have the link to these specs as well so that you can help use these to help you find parts. Um, and so you could downgrade the video card. Um, you could go lower on the processor. I wouldn't really recommend that because this processor, um, it's just nice having a fast processor, but you know, you could go lower on this as well. Just search around. Um, you could go definitely go lower on the um, RAM here. I have eight gigabytes. The recommended is four. So you could definitely go down um, and you could try getting a different type. I know the rip jaw or something like that is also good and I think that might be slightly cheaper but again Corsair is more reliable um, and if you want to go cheaper also you probably have a mouse and keyboard already so that'll save you 20 bucks on this and yeah so that's pretty much for going cheaper you could try finding a cheaper case but frankly this case you won't get much it, definitely buy this case I would say because it's it's slightly outdated and, outdated and that's why it's cheaper but you know it doesn't really matter the only outdated part is like on the front it has two USB 2.0 ports instead of having USB 3.0 ports but there are still USB 3.0 ports on the back and those don't really make a difference besides it's faster um, I don't even use those that much because for everything I have they're only 2.0 compatible anyway so it really doesn't affect most stuff um, so anyways that is if you want to go cheaper if you want to upgrade then the few ways you can upgrade first I would recommend is definitely definitely upgrade this hard drive um it's kind of a cheap hard drive frankly um wd black it's not the cheapest um the wd black is a solid hard drive that's good for um gaming in general and all and it's it won't wear out um also if you're trying to go cheaper don't go to wd blue it'll save like 10 bucks and it's totally not worth it because the blue will fail with gaming stay with the black but anyways back to more expensive i would upgrade this to an ssd drive and SSD is SSD is a digital hard drive and it'll run way faster it'll make loading speeds like nothing um, windows will start up ridiculously fast and just run real smoothly um, I didn't do that because it is like eighty dollars more and you only get 128 gigabytes so you'll probably have to buy another hard drive as well to put some your pictures and stuff on but um so it does raise the price a lot and I didn't want to do that so I just went with this um, and I'll show you quick what my Windows experience um, performance um, this thing you can see here my 7.9 is the highest my graphics card is 7.7 .7, the processor is 7.3 and then the hard disk hard drive is 5.9 so it doesn't affect in-game at all it only affects the loading speeds and stuff so I would recommend upgrading that and then also you can upgrade the processor um, you know this is a 3.8 you can upgrade definitely to I don't know what you would upgrade to you can just go to higher gigahertz because this is 3.3 7.3 and you can get it up closer to 5.9 and the memory and RAM you can upgrade that yeah you could go to 16 gigabytes of RAM 8 gigabytes is probably fast enough though Rome won't really Rome Total War 2 won't really be able to use more than 8 <laughs> like it really won't affect the game that much the processor will just make it so you can have bigger battles and the graphics is already high so I wouldn't recommend upgrading the graphics much you could but it'd be kind of pointless it can already run pretty much all there is in Rome Total War 2 so anyways hey guys sorry I'm back now um my sister's phone started to ring she wasn't picking it up but anyways so yeah that was upgrading it um so now how to build an actual computer um it's not as hard as you would think it's pretty easy frankly you go to YouTube and look up the new egg and then how to build a computer part one part two part three part one talks about choosing the parts and also if you're just going with my build you don't even need to bother watching that because my build works um, if you want to and I'll put my build in the info down below if I didn't already say that um, and then part two is how to actually put the hardware together so you definitely need to watch that and part three is how to install the software and the drivers for your hardware so you definitely need to watch that so only watch part one if you're changing the build at all um, and if you change the build you can go ahead and post in the comments and I will try to use my semi limited knowledge to help you out there because I am not an expert at building computers um, but and also you can go ahead and uh, post in forums like eggexpert uh, expert.com you can go here 
they have great forums here that will help you build a computer. Just go to forums. Uh, my internet's being slow, but anyways, go to forums. Then you can go to computer building and post your build there. Ask for advice if you wanna, if you want help lowering the price of the build, you can ask here. If you want help upping the price of the build and upping the quality, ask here. Like this is a great place. Um, if you want more expert information than the stuff I gave you, go ahead to here. Um, and you can use other sites like Yahoo Answers too. I got actually more help from Yahoo Answers than here because I just got really fast answers. So anyways, um, yeah, um, a quick few things I will mention to you. When you watch the Newegg tutorial, they will not mention that the motherboard will usually have two PSI, PCI slots for the video card. Make sure you put it in the top one because the top one will have, you can look inside and see, there will be pins. Um, the top one will be full of pins. The second one on the bottom will only have the pins go halfway, and that one will run this video card slower, so plug it into the top one. Um, and then also, they do not stress enough how to get an anti-static wristband. Get that, because if you don't get that, then you will fry this $120 processor with the shock of static electricity. Not worth it. So get that. It's $4 on Amazon. It's a really cheap and easy to use. So anyways, that is building a computer. Um, and again, if you don't want to deal with that, you can go with the refurbished. It won't be as nice, but it'll still do the job. Um, this will be nice. You can probably go lower and still get plenty high on this. You get above recommended and get it down to probably the price of this. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah. If you helped you out, leave a like and subscribe. And if you have questions, post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will direct you to a place where you can. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.